What now? Is he all right? Thank the stars. Huh. Considering it was we who engaged Amata's gambit, this must be rather humorous to him. We pulled through. Thanks to Neorus. Can't believe he caught us mid plummet on that busted Skyrunner. Well, don't leave out highs, mate. Wouldn't have expected his wings to be so handy. Never again. <laughs> We're in good shape. Our wounds have already healed. It was all so fast. I'm still a little shocked. True. It's bound to be everyone hoping the best for us below. Mm. Like what Louise did. Only the magic working in reverse. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> Why? Why do you still stand in defiance? What drives such tenacity? Luis, the world is full of injustice. Not everything you've said is wrong, much as it hurts to admit. Yet, you would give up because you see no other way. And no future can come from that. We may struggle with fear and anxiety, but we shape our own destiny with our own hands. I have no doubts. Yes, you're a man who has endured tragedy. It's foolish, I know, all this talk of belief. I know well. That said, if you cast aside all belief, all that remains is to endure a slow death. As for me, I believe things can change. I have to. Singing and believing aren't so far apart, right? Even then, my songs touched you too. I know they did. After I'd idealized my death more than I ever did my life, thanks to a chance encounter, everything changed for me. Now I can hope for the best without fearing for the worst. The possibilities are endless. If you ask me, that's what magic is. Luis, you got all these people who believe in you because you gave them a shred of hope. And now you want to crush that hope. Maybe you're the one who's scared. Deep down, you're afraid to admit to yourself you're the one who's hopeless now. 
Luis, the fairies came to live in the sanctum. But do you know why we chose it? The Elder Tribe. We admired the people of humanity. To make our dreams into realities, we have to trust each other. When people do that, that's what makes them so amazing. If you deny the power of trust, if you make the world a place where it can't exist, then you're just plain wrong! Fools. These false foundations. Who in their right mind could promise such fantasies? I will never let injustice be repeated. Never again! His aura is entirely different. It's a, a magla burst. Luis is becoming a human. Come on then! <laughs> no choice now. We prove ourselves with all that we are! <clears throat> Let's go then! This is our final battle! Again, the world must be shattered, and again it must be rebuilt anew. You will die in tribute to my ideals, Prince. He will win this, for the sake of our world. Boss. Let's keep cool. I, 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 I can do this. I channel my power. Its ideals have no need. We hope let's work together. Let's do this. No holding back. If the strong subsume the weak, now be a noble sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself to the new age. What? Is he? Is he trying to swallow those people? Wait, they're puppets? I'll figure something out. Hear my prayer. I'm sensing deadly magla and the puppets. Attack him! What is wrong with more? Don't be scared. Let's set it up! If you would! Yes! The puppet's back was made! I'll give you this might be a good strategy! There is no holding on! I won't hold back! I'll lend a hand myself! A good actress can take these after me my first power. Help me finish this. Shall perish. Sacrifice your 
yourself to the new age. About bloopy time. Got it. It's okay. I'm all prepared. Get after it, love. You're here. The puppet's back. Don't fading. This might be a good strategy. Here we go. I shall put all on the line. I'm sorry, everyone. You can take them free. This is it. <sighs> She's doing great. Sacrifice yourself to the new age. Behold this power. A bit much. Your turn. Exterminate. I channel my power. Yes! The puppet's back was made it. Let's set it up. Got it, boss. This might be a good strategy. The enemy still stands. I'll hang back. The there is no power. You struggle in vain. Give in to the truth. Your fantasy has no meaning whatsoever. of Luis's mental strength would lose his grip on sanity. In the end, even he couldn't escape his own anxiety. Then by his own logic, we've got to put him down. The weak deserve to die. The bastard's own words, yeah? 
If he saw a threat in our power, then let us wield it. You can't just believe in nothing. Nobody can rely on themselves alone. It's a pitiful way to live, and it's time we put an end to it. Louis Squeerburn! Here and now, I will strike you down. Okay, it's time to do this. Give us our final call to arms. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Look at all that magla. But still, we can't afford to lose. Come on, follow me. Let's thank you. The world is the right hand. And it's people. Don't be scared. Lend me your strength. Let's do this. How's this? No one here fights alone. Let's wreck it. How do you want to? Feel true terror. Can you not understand my ideals? 
broken the power of kings. It's time to stop following their footsteps. Now it's your turn to take your place with them. Your fantasy is no but lies. What? What's going on? that governs Utopia in all worthy champions. The hero's archetype. The king. I see. At long last, fantasy has become a force that frees people from anxiety. The harbinger of change for a deadlocked reality. The people have chosen my son. With that, my tremendous gamble hath borne fruit. Thus it is that my duty here draws to a close. And now, the novel you wrote with such passion will finally begin a new chapter. This voice... Is that... could it be? But how? While flames swept through the sanctum, I cast a final spell to abandon my body and survive in soul. I became an immaterial being among the fairies. I had to, so I might provide guidance to the child on his most perilous path. The power of the archetypes. Was that your doing? No. All I did was awaken them to it. My voice carried the words they needed to hear. That power is no great and rare treasure. It is something that might be grasped by anyone with the will to change the world. And anyone has the power to change the world. Those children proved as much. Now, that boy has grasped the courage of a warrior. All dragons who still roamed the continent have fallen by his hand. For what greater embodiment of the impossible is there than a dragon? And he now possesses the power and will to quell those forces. I see. Then he is not so weak a child that I must hold his hand. I am truly sorry. I lost all the power I once knew. I saw the sanctum burn. And you. I lost you. Once they took our child from me, all my remaining hope went with him. And so I placed my faith in the royal magic. I believe that if this world would choose him, there would still be hope. This shall do. That boy's fight, and ours, 
is finally over. The people no longer need some mystic relic or some lofty magics to soothe their fears. They have found the strength to overcome it within, provided they can turn their anxiety into strength and never stop walking toward the unknown. Reality will ever change. Their world shall be one full of possibility. This isn't about the throne anymore. It marks the beginning of a new era, led by those who are truly worthy of the people's trust. Almost the appointed time now. The day is dawning on a new king's reign. And with it, my true passing. However, if I may truly end my life with pride in my boy and my love at my side, I've no regrets. It's been a long road to this moment, hasn't it? It has indeed. But for our son, a new journey now begins. Heed me, all people of the kingdom. Dawn breaks, and the appointed hour hath come. He speaks. With the announcement of our new king, everything finally ends. I now settle the long-contested succession to the throne. They who hath gathered the most faith from their subjects amassed, they who hath overcome this fierce contest, the throne's new sovereign, I now reveal. Behold, your new king of your kingdom united. Majesty, the new king. <laughs> I won't accept it. The new king is Count Luis. He can't just crown his son after all. That's cheating, that is. Rise up, people. Riot! Disorderly conduct will not be permitted. Settle down. The tournament is over. Our new king has been decided and the royal capital falls under his majesty's rule. Threaten it, and you shall face the wrath of the crown theocracy's warrior monks. Bloody fantastic. They really did it. Quietude descended once again upon the royal capital, and the day of the new king's coronation arrived. Boy, the coronation really crept up on us. There's a lot of people in the crowd. <sighs> Don't tell me you're nervous. After everything we survived already, stage fright should be nothing for you. All the same, my heart's pounding out of my chest. Is it? Nothing you're not used to then. It's just like with the archetypes. <laughs> just keep your head high. It'll be fine. We'll keep the crowd warmed up for you. Your newfound dignity suits you well, your highness. Ah, but I suppose you have outgrown that title. Your majesty. Yes, that too suits you well.
By the way, saw some of them Senef fat cats over and about. Acting like they've been supporting us from the start, of course. Always on the winning side, eh? Better than the alternative, no? Especially since we've got some Luis diehards among the people. I hear that many are concerned about his proficiency with statecraft. To be honest, I'm not so sure myself. <sighs> Juna will stand as moderator at the podium. His Majesty will only be asked for a few brief answers. First, the people would know how you aim to lead them. How will you respond to that, Your Majesty? In all honesty, I don't know what I can do for the country just yet. I'm still inexperienced. But I'll strive to do my utmost, with all of you at my side. That's fine. The people have about had it with pompous monologues. Better to say what you mean with determination. Still, there are a lot of people in the crowd who have never supported you. How are you going to respond to them? I'll have to let my work prove my words. With results, I hope everyone can feel that our future will be brighter. <laughs> you went from a nobody to the top seat in the nation. No need to puff up and bluster anymore, what? You'll do fine. A ruler must only stand tall. The rest is not done alone. We are with you. Indeed. And we're no strangers to more practical work. Whatever our tasks, I'm sure we can handle them. Well, it is time to make your first appearance as our king. Let us brace ourselves. Good luck. I'll do my best. Well, let's go. To his majesty, the new king. I cannot say what I'll accomplish, and yet, I believe the world can change by our hand. And to that end, I will face any odds. Now, Your Majesty, a few more words. Naturally, some under your rule now supported other people in the race. How do you respond to their voices? There will be times I let you down. I know that. Only results can prove my intent. Even should you oppose your king, you can always believe in your own future. I will make sure of it! A nation where dreams and fantasies are always in reach. So it'll surely be a challenge. We'll make it happen. There you go! If you can pull that off, you'll be the finest king we've known. Well then, this is it! Your attention, please! No <laughs> 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 more domains for you to know before. Please take the crown of your own hands, my king. Long have I awaited the arrival of this day. This journey has reached its end. 
he came to know the goodness of a hero's heart and became the king his people had always hoped for. But as this journey ends, so another begins. I'd like you to watch over him on his path for a little longer yet. One year has passed since the arrival of the new king. Hey, how the newt? They're finally reopening that mage academy that got closed down. You don't say. The famous one deep in the Montario Mountains. Really? I'm impressed. It only took them a year. They've even paved a proper mountain road. And get this, their headmistress is none other than Lady Juna. What? The songstress? Well, she is one of the King's six partisans. If she managed to help save the world from Luis, I expect she knows a thing or two about magic. Sounds like they plan to fully open the magic researchers' findings to the people, too. Quite a turn from when the late Sanctifex banned it. Makes sense to me. After the clash between His Majesty and Luis last year, everyone knows you don't really need an igniter to use magic. And that's just today's news. It's surprise after surprise, ever since us church folk got the boot from the palace. Even the royal knights. Their leadership was bound to the church more than anything, and now he's out on his ear too. And replaced by Sir Heisme Noctul, no less. You believe that? The royal knights led by a Ujif, of all things. Though he's one of the six partisans himself. When he speaks, everyone listens. No one's about to complain. Even Parliament now invites citizen representatives to hearings. Strange to think we'd been deaf to the voice of the people until now. It's unbelievable, compared to the days of the autocrats. How swiftly the times change, eh? Credit where it's due. I think it's thanks to his young majesty. Remember last year's coronation? Unprecedented, that. Saw heroes of all different tribes celebrating the king's victory. Celebrating among the common folk, even. They tell me some of the younger aristocrats have taken to calling it the Great Reconciliation. It really is a tragedy, what happened to his father, the king. But considering how his sons turned out, I hope he's at peace. Indeed. Yet the real test is still to come. The first year has seen a lot of good, but we've still got our share of problems. <sighs> Speaking of His Majesty, I've also heard some folks saying they've seen a boy wandering around these parts who looks just like him. You don't suppose? Bah, can't be. Without his escorts? Besides, what business would a king have in this place? <laughs> hmm, suppose you're right. <sighs> mountains upon mountains of appeals from the people. How many days will this take to sort? <laughs> After all the trouble you took to flee politics. And somehow you're now the preeminent ladyship of your house. Such is fate. Hmm. Despite everything, this year has passed in surprising peace, hasn't it? Honestly, with the royal scepter disappearing like that, I feared more dissent. Perhaps after Luis, they swore they could never let that happen again. Either way, more and more are dealing with conflicts calmly and openly. Promising. It promises that I'll have an eternally chattered desk. Mm. Here, Your Majesty. I brought in the next load. Mm. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Not half bad, right? Countless times not to leave unannounced. Oh, well, this decoration doesn't suit me. How do we some Ford and put up with all this damn finery? Your Majesty, are you here? 
June is back from her inspection. Oh, apologies, Troll. I'll look for him now. Wait! I'm coming with you! <gasps> oh, good grief! <laughs> Some things never change. Not that they should. I'd say life has changed plenty for us. But somehow our captain's the same as the other ones. And then, well, I might have got a bit too fresh with them stuck-up sanctists, but those bloody church folk been looking down on us for years, you know? Still, it was other sanctists what stepped in to keep things peaceable too. Uh, I reckon they're not all bad. Guess me cogs turning. They lost both their Saint effects and the Saint Lady last year. <sighs> Got their own struggles, I expect. Like it excuses all of them or makes me want to go up and shake a sanctus hand, but you really put some perspective on it. Hmm. It was good talking to you, too. You know what, lad? You're all right. You ever need some good, honest work? I'll get you squared, eh? I should have known you'd be wandering around without your escorts again. How is it, being able to hear the city's honest thoughts? If you told them you're the king, it had knocked them sideways. Sorry you ended up coming all this way. Maria's actually out on an errand right now. Then I suppose I'll wait until she comes back. You sure? That girl always ends up on detours. No telling how long she'll be. Either way, let's keep your head down. You know what happens when you're too obvious about this. Sooner or later, the Lady Captain of the Royal Guard... Oh, there you are! I knew we'd find you here for crying out loud! Phew! So you were here. Speak of the devil. Let us return, Your Majesty. And I thought I had informed you that Juno would be back from her expedition today. I have a few stops left in the city, though. You do know I practically sprinted out the gates to find you. To settled, I shall come with you on every excursion. Not dressed like that, you aren't. You know how we like snooping around, inconspicuously. Hmm. Point taken. He'll be fine. His Majesty is not about to fall prey to some alleyway scandal, surely. Right, Your Majesty. If you see Maria about, do slow down for a chat. She'll be shattered if she finds out she just missed you. Fine. Now, Your Majesty, once your business here is finished, please make sure you return to the palace with all swiftness. All right. Let's go. And so... Well... 
I vow. What do you want to do? Pleasure to see you. Yes. Now that you mention it. Thank you. Now that you mention it. Yes. We 
Shang. Very well. I do believe.
speaking of which... Now we're talking. Yeah. Wait. Just a moment. Perhaps. <laughs> but of course. Then again.
Uh, hold on. That's right. Right. I suppose now I should call you your majesty. You know, I was just telling Papa, even through all that mess, everyone's really been working hard. Am I keeping my promise properly from back then? Yes. You beat the villain, and now the city's full of smiles. And I'm sure Papa's smiling down on you too. That's good. Hearing that from you really loves my heart. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll try to do my part with what I've got. I want to help everyone understand that the world could be a better place if we can join hands with one another. Miss Fabian's fed so many hungry people since things changed. Some of those people even said they found their place there. I think I did too. If we can all change together for the better like that, we'll be closer to your majesty's and papa's dream. Mm. And I want to help with something too. I want everyone across the land to be able to smile. Yes, 
I expect great things, my trusty advisor. Yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, oh thank you, Your Majesty. We should be the ones thanking her. Feels like I can see the entire country's future in her smile. Everyone! Long time no see! How have you been? As we find ourselves afield, I thought I might visit Alsace myself. Hold on a tick! Those people there! Surely not! Naturally, we're drawing attention. We didn't all have to go at once. Needn't fuss, old thing. It's been too long since we were all together again anyway. Lady Tudor, did she really come all this way in a runner? Would have asked His Majesty to pop over and bring you back with a teleport or two. The unmitigated nerve. Oh, it's fine. I wanted to take in our country as it is. It's definitely a little rougher outside the capital's walls. There's still traces of melancholia around, and the odd human roaming about. We're sending soldiers out for every incident we can. But it's not easy to hear the voice of the people from more distant regions. I guess it's obvious. But just because you're king now doesn't make you suddenly all-seeing. A lesson I learned last year. In the end, I was blind to a great deal of this world. Never would have learned if I hadn't pushed out the door and seen it with my own eyes. <sighs> A year ago, I would have just said we could fly over ourselves. <sighs> I mean, let's be real. The capital isn't going to fall apart if we just sneak over for a little tour, is it? Of course not. We specifically put precautions in place to keep things running. Yet, it has only been one year. We cannot be too complacent too soon, lest the dissidents seize on the opportunity. Oh, there he is! Over there! See? I told you, that's His Majesty, innit? Might have been a bit too obvious. Why there, Your Majesty! You dare hoy the king? You swine! Steady on, Hockenberg, calm. You needn't draw steel on the poor fellow. We're the ones who indulged in this little day trip. Your Majesty, thanks for all you do, really. I have to say, my life's a lot easier now. There's more work to do every day. But we're in this together. We believe in you. Everyone's so supportive. Kind of brings back memories from last year. Rather. It's the sort of thing to get a chap all misty-eyed over the past. What a journey it was. We really did just leg it up and down the country slaying dragons, eh? Can't believe we actually survived it. They were dangerous times, but exciting ones too. When we fought to appease the dragon god, I had no idea we would have to face another four dragons. Nor I. Never thought the day would come when I'd be hailed as a dragon slayer. <laughs> Life is full of surprises. Right. It was a hard road, but we did have fun together, didn't we? Looks like we're drawing a crowd. Time to get back to work. Indeed. A veritable mountain of tasks awaits us, and I will see it crested. And not long after, the new year dawned. Are you really planning on leaving us? There's more I have to see. With my own eyes. You want to know what's going on in the world, huh? Well, I guess you are the king. 
Sounds like fun, but a uh, daily jaunt down to the slums is one thing, and a proper journey is quite another. You're a king now, lad. You've got the people's expectations on your shoulders. It's all right to just sit on your throne and mind the home front, you know? I don't care to be kingly. That's less important than doing what I need to do. You're not even concerned? Can't you take this a little more seriously? <laughs> Ever the fearless get about, eh? Well, I take your point, lad. Magler and the humans make a fine barometer for the anxiety still swirling in the country. So you go out and give it a proper survey where it is and how much is there. If people can't face their anxieties, they can't keep their eyes forward. And if they can't do that, we'll have a bally hard time moving forward as a nation or a people. So you want to get a better grasp of it all. That's your most important duty as a ruler. That's what you're thinking, eh? Right. was your plan? You could have just said so. Sounds like a fine idea to me. A proper spot of fun, besides. Wouldn't expect any less from our king and captain. Well, since I'm the Bally Court Engineer, I've no choice but to come along. I'm the only driver fit to maneuver the Royal Skyrunner, after all. And why, you're the Dragon Slayer King! Bane of monsters all across the country. When I imagine what sort of wondrous encounters you've got next, well, I'm all a gog. Yes, here begins our quest anew. Let us sally forth upon our. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, are you not listening to me? Sire, you've really got to stop chasing these ideas all on your own. You'll be the death of us. Once again, sire, I've asked you countless times to give word if you're to leave the castle. Such caprice. Nurse, don't tell me you called for them beforehand. Saved us a bit of time, eh? Though, hello, what's this? I count only two of the six partisans. Short a few spears. For my part, I believe tis unrealistic for all of us to depart the capital together. Oh, -ho. So you've no plans to stop our little adventure, eh? Hulkenberg and I talked it over. We decided that if you insist on going, we'd rather go with you than stop you. I'm glad to hear that, but will that be all right? I was thinking back to our last fight with Luis. So many people supported us, but not for any high-minded ideals or arguments. They were supporting us because we were actively fighting a monster on their behalf. In the end, people make choices based on their personal experience and emotion. Even if decided justly and supported by prosperity, people may struggle to trust a king whose face they do not know. An invisible ruler is no cure for their fears. Right. I'm not opposed to the idea of getting out into the world again. Really. It might be the wisest move to make sure you're a king everyone knows. <laughs> Still, this early into the new year? <laughs> Tis never a dull moment in your majesty's employ. Bit of a smaller party than we last set out with, huh? But it's a pleasure to be on the road again with you. Okay. But can we really afford to have both our general and the Royal Guard's captain coming along for this? Tis natural course for the Royal Guard to accompany the king. And I trust my core is not so feeble that it will fall apart in my absence. We'll make it work. Got to learn to trust others and delegate, right? We'll just have to lead by example. Thank you. All of you. Let's be off. You once heard my voice and answered a query in kind. Is fantasy a powerless creation? That timeless question. So long as life remains in the world, we seekers all shall search for our answer. But he will find his 
Of that I am certain. And it is thanks to you for believing in and guiding him. That was the true purpose of my royal magic, you know. To seek and obtain guidance from denizens of a land beyond ours. A land that has not yet lost hope. And it was you who answered the call. Armed with your hope, armed with the power of fantasy, you rose in glory. Such courage, such whimsy, and yes, what thrills. You have my sincerest thanks. Feels familiar. It's been far too long. Aye, the wind feels an echo of days past. Unusually poetic for you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. They're awful, aren't they? They would have left us behind. Oh. Well, I'm not certain we're in a position to talk, having followed straight after, saying we could just teleport back. Well, hey, we figured the kids might want to change your scenery, like. Wow! <gasps> Amazing! Poetic indeed. But the Scepter's absence restored order to Magla, and even greenery to the sands. I'll say! I definitely like this view better! Let's go! <laughs>
Dear guest, from a world I shall never know. In your eyes, I know our journey was ultimately a fiction. However, I hope your memories of this fantastical adventure burn as bright in your reality. I hope the promise of our world echoes in you. With all my heart, I hope that fantasy gives you strength. Look at that. The rubble's just made for tourists now. I never expected a view like this. Let's see it all. Let's see the world. A new journey now beckons. In days of eld, the people prospered and perished in turn. Struck by their ways, I wrote a book of my dearest ideas. A tale of fantasy. In my vision, they place their trust, and so the kingdom breathed new life. The strength to believe in the unknown can change everything. Without a doubt, you will face all sorts of troubles ahead. You will carry on with all your heart. Onward, fearless, into a world unknown.